What is happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike, guys. Today, uh, we're going to look at programming the Bougie, Boji, however the heck you say it, BJ218. Uh, you know, the radio we reviewed that looks exactly like this. This tiny little radio. Look at that. It's so small. There's my hand. It's so small, but it's actually a really cool radio. And I had a lot of people asking about like how to program it. Uh, does it work with Chirp? Can you name the channels? All that kind of stuff. So let's dive in. Spoiler alert. Yes, it works with Chirp. A little quirky, but uh, it does work. So let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to need is this little programming cable. That one that I picked up from eBay, all of $9.72. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up, but very inexpensive, $10. So let's hop over to the desktop and we will take a look at Chirp and how to program this and I'll show you the ins and outs. I'm not going to do like a whole, this is how you use Chirp. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube for how to actually use Chirp. I'm going to assume that you have an understanding of how Chirp works and uh, we'll get this rocking and rolling. So let's do this. Okay, so we have Chirp installed. The first thing we're gonna do is go to radio and download from radio. Now, the Mac version is kind of weird. You have to manipulate the screen a little bit in order to see everything. I don't know why, but it's been like that for the last few versions. But anyway, find your cable, and then you're gonna click on the vendor, which in our case is Bauji, and then the model is the BJ218, but they have these other models as well. Then we're gonna hit OK. And if we do everything right, it should say cloning from radio. That's a good thing. We wait for this to happen for a couple seconds. We get an insanely loud beep that we can turn off. Uh, but this is what we're left with. So I restored this radio to factory settings before I did this video, but we can see we've got a couple things. We've got a memories upper and a memories lower. So. We actually need to program this radio twice, once for the upper channel, channel A, or, or the A band, if you will, and then one for, for the B band. It's kind of weird. I've never had a radio do this. Even, even Baofangs and TYTs and every other radio I've programmed doesn't do this. And then we also have this settings tab that is absolutely worthless because there are zero things in it. Uh, any other radio I've programmed, there's usually something in here that would have to do like, here's, this is usually where you'd set your timeout timer and your annoyingly loud beep and all that kind of stuff. But zero options there. Maybe these are functions that Chirp can add at some future date. I don't know. The functions are in the radio in the menus, but uh, uh, with, with this radio, we're pretty much limited to just programming the radio. So much like any other radio, we can just program the frequency by uh, double clicking in here. Whoops. If you're not me, it'll work for you. And I'm just going to program the Huntsville repeater. Let's say 146.860. And we can name it here. I don't know how many characters, so let's just go with uh, HVLLE. Sure, why not? And here we can pick our tone. This has a DC, uh, DCS or digital tone coded squelch of, uh, what is it? 125. So we can sort down here to 125. And there's no receive code. We don't need to worry about that. We don't need cross mode. Uh, and power we can change. Oh, let's put that to high. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Maybe I want to program a simplex frequency in here. Let's do 146.52. We'll call that simplex. Uh, let's call that two meter simplex simplex and then maybe I want to do say uh, the f uh, 70 centimeter simplex so 446.000 and 70 simplex sure why not and we'll leave those both at high life is good except I don't want an offset there so we'll change that to none and once we have everything programmed in we can go to radio and upload to radio. But remember, I said we have this lower series, too. So we actually would need to copy these and then go over to our lower memories. And then we can just paste them here. And you have to then write to the radio or upload to radio. Let's get our screen in here and then hit OK and OK. We're writing, loud beep. 
Uh, the memories are in here. You can see one, and then there's two and three. And then back, and we can go down to A and B. Hit VFO memory. There's one, two, and three. We have the channels in there. And if you want, because we named them in Chirp, if we want to see the names, we just hit the VFO memory button again. So here's VFO. Here's the memory view with the frequency. And then here's the memory with the channel name. And then you can do the same thing for A and B. Two completely independent uh, radios in here, basically. Which brings me to another point. Someone asked if this radio is dual receive. And my answer to that is yes. And I'm going to demonstrate that. So here we have two of our finest Bofang radios. And one of them is on 146.52. And one of them is on 446.0. Now, if I key up the 146.52, we can see the 146.52 is blinking. If I key up the 70 centimeter, we can see that 446 is blinking. If I key both of them up, we can see that both of them are blinking. K at MRD, testing one, two. K at MRD, testing one, two. So this is a full dual receive radio. There are two separate receivers inside of this radio, which is really neat. The downside is there are not two separate volumes. So if you wanted to use this for like a really crappy satellite radio or something, you can, but there's no way to control uh, the downlink volume or the uplink, whatever, you know, there, it's just, it's one volume for, for all of them. But I thought that was a pretty neat little uh, option for this radio. Really neat little thing. It's, uh, they, it looks like they raised the price a little bit since the last review that I did. I think it's going for about 80 bucks now on Banggood. I will leave a link in the description if you want to pick this guy up. But I, I just, I really like this radio. It is incredibly loud. Probably one of the loudest radios I have ever owned or touched or played with in my life whole ham radio existence since 2016 it is stupid loud so if you just want a cheap little uh radio for like uh you know like an rv or something or a an off-road vehicle something like that this is the one you want because you'll be able to hear it it is stupid or if you're like in a farm and you have 100 acres and you put this 100 acres away you'll still be able to hear it because it's that loud so Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. And as always, we will see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.